and Jai Hind children. I welcome you all in today's live class of chemistry. Children, we are discussing the chapter animal fibers. Okay, and in previous class, I have revised the chapter. Now today I am going to demonstrate you the activity of the chapter. Okay, this activity is in your syllabus, so you need to write it in your activity notebook. Understood, children? And the aim or objective of this activity is to study the effect of heat on plant fiber and animal fibers. All right, children. So I'm going to demonstrate this activity. Children, today we will demonstrate the activity number one of the chemistry according to our syllabus. The aim or objective of the activity is to study the effect of heat on plant fibers and animal fibers. So for this the material which are required are a small strip of cotton, woolen, jute and silk. So out of these four are animal fibers that is wool and silk. These two are the animal fibers and cotton and jute these two are the plant. Now we will study the effect of heat on these fibers. So first of all we will light the candle. And with the help of a tong, I will put one by one the different pieces of the fibers and heat them and observe how they are burned and what kind of smell they produce. First of all, I took the cotton. And while heating this cotton, it is going to burn. While burning, it is going to produce the flame also. And at that time, it is going to produce the smell as the burning paper. Just like the burning paper and at last, will get the little ash. Now, next, I am going to take the another plant fiber that is jute. So here I have the jute. I will hold it with the help of tong and heat it. Now, you can observe that it's while burning, it's not going to produce the enough flame and at last, it's going to leave the little ash also and while burning, it produces the smell just like the paper as the cotton have produced. So, it's burning but a very little flame. And it smells like the burning paper. And you can see here at last the ash is left. Now the next I am going to take the animal fiber. So first of all here I have the wool. I will hold it with the help of the tong and heat it on the flame. So you can see that burning with the flame and during burning, it produces the smell like the burning hair and at last it's going to produce, it's going to left very little ash. Now the fourth sample is of silk. So I will hold it 
with the help of my tongue and heat it on the flame of candle so you can observe that it's burning with very little flame and while burning it also produces the smell like the burning hair and at last a little ash is left so children with the help of this activity you clearly differentiate the plant fibers and animal fibers as they all are the natural fibers so plant fibers when get heated it burns with a flame and animal fiber when get heated also burns with a little flame and while burning the plant so children i hope that you understood the activity all right now i'm going to explain the book exercise got it children so one by one i will discuss all the book exercises and the pdf of these exercises i already have provided to you got it so come to the first exercise of the book that is multiple choice question first question of choose the most appropriate answer is which of these is not an animal fiber understood children which of these is not the animal fiber and the four options are given the first one wool second one silk third one jute and the fourth one angora so children we already have discussed in this chapter in detail about wool sil and angora that wool obtained from sheep and some other animals silk obtained from cocoon of silk moth angora fiber obtained from angora rabbit got it so these all are the animals and the jute is the fiber that we obtained from jute plant so here the correct answer will be jute Okay, now the question number two, and the question is, which of these is a synthetic fiber? Children, I have explained you that natural fiber and synthetic fiber, is it? So in the question, you have to find out that which of these is a synthetic fiber, and the options are the first one alpaca, second one mohair, third one rayon, and the fourth one vicuna. So children, out of these four, one, three, that alpaca, mohair, and vicuna, these are the natural fibers because they are obtained from natural sources like animals and plants. Whereas the rayon, it is a synthetic fiber because it is made up from chemicals. Got it? So the correct answer is rayon. now the question number 3 is fibers based on cellulose as their structural materials are children here you have to find out the name of the fibers are the kind of fibers whose structural material is the cellulose or you can say that the structure of those fibers are made up from the substance cellulose got it and the options are flax second kashmiri third silk and the fourth wool children remember that cellulose is a substance which is a structural material by which all the plant fibers are made up of is it whereas all the animal fibers are made up of proteins so the structural material of animal fibers are
protein and the structural material for plant fibers is cellulose so out of given these four options kashmiri silk and wool these three are the animal fibers and the animal fibers have the structural material proteins okay so the first option that is flax it is a plant fiber and that is why the structural material of flax is cellulose okay so the correct answer is flax now till him come to the question number 4 a rare and expensive fiber called kashmir is obtained from till in the kashmiri fiber obtained from okay and the options are the first one camel b second one rabbit third goat and the fourth sheep okay so the kashmiri fibers are obtained from that you know very well because we already have discussed it it is obtained from a kind of goat and the name of that goat is kashmiri goat this goat is found in himalayan region like tiber okay so the correct answer will be goat now the question number 5 which of these is not a fiber okay and the options are first cotton second nylon third leather and the fourth wool so children out of these four options the leather is not the fiber it is a skin of the animals which is used to make the cloths okay whereas rest of the three that is cotton nylon and wool they are the fibers is it so the correct option will be leather got it children so these are the correct answers of question number a that choose the most appropriate answer all right now come to the second exercise the second exercise is very short answer question children the answer of such questions you have to write only in one word okay so come to that question number 1 name the source from which the following are obtained understood children the source from which following are obtained and what are these the first is given as silk second is given as wool and the third one is given angora so children these three are the fibers you have to write the name of the source from which they are obtained understood so the silk is obtained from silk moth okay wool is obtained from sheep and the angora is obtained from rabbit and the name of that rabbit is angora rabbit so the angora fiber is obtained from angora rabbit wool is obtained from different varieties of sheep and the silk is obtained from silk moth got it so these are the sources of these fibers all right children now the question number 2 is which complex compound are used to make the animal fibers okay once again i'm going to repeat the question which complex compounds are animal fibers made up of so children today i have explained you about the 
स्ट्रक्चरल मटेरियल आर द कंपाउंड्स बाय विच प्लांट फाइबर्स एज वेल एज एनिमल फाइबर्स आर मेड अप ऑफ सो सेलुलोज इज द कंपाउंड आर सब्सटेंस बाय विच प्लांट फाइबर्स आर मेड अप ऑफ एंड द प्रोटीन्स आर द कंपाउंड्स बाय विच एनिमल फाइबर्स आर मेड अप ऑफ ओके सो हियर द क्वेश्चन इज द कॉम्प्लेक्स कंपाउंड by which animal fibers are made up of so the correct answer will be proteins all right now the question number 3 is which material forms the base of plant fibers children they just right now i have told the material which form the base of plant fiber means the plant fibers are made up of by which material so the correct answer will be cellulose all right children the answer number 3 is cellulose now the question number 4 the removal of wool from a sheep is called children there are different steps involved to obtain the wool from the hair and one of the step is there in which the hair of the animals like sheep is get removed out so here you have to write the name of that step the removal of wool from a sheep is called shearing the name of that step is shearing all right children now the question number 5 is the management and breeding of silk worm for the production of silk the practice in which management of silk moth and rearing of silk moths take place so the name of that practice is yes it is sericulture got it children so the correct answer will be sericulture okay now the question number 6 and the question is wool traps more air than cotton true or false children understood the question first wool trap more air than cotton is it true or false so yes it will be true because the property of wool is there by which it have large air spaces and because of that it traps more air and make a shield of air above our body okay by which the body heat is not allowed to escape and we feel warm got it so the statement will be true all right children understood these all answers so these are the answers are very short answer questions okay now come to the next exercise exercise c and here you have to write the answer of the questions in one sentence or two sentence okay so question number c is short answer questions and the question number 1 is what are natural fibers children i have given you the types of fibers so fibers get mainly divided in two categories as natural fiber and synthetic fiber all right so the natural fibers are those fibers which are obtained from natural sources that is why it is termed as natural fibers understood so you can say that natural fibers are the fibers which are obtained from natural sources such as plants and animals okay for example you can write the name of the fibers like jute cotton wool silk because they all are the natural fibers as they obtained from plants or 
animals. Got it? Now, the question number two. List five animals from which wool is obtained. Children, here you have to write the name of five animals from which we obtain the wool. Get it? So, you can write the name. The ship is the first because almost all the varieties or species of ship is used to obtain the wool. Okay? After that, you can write the camel shape that already you have told. Third one, goat like Kashmiri goat. Okay, the fourth animal, rabbit, like Angora rabbit is used to obtain the fibers. And fifth one, you can write the yak. Got it? So these are the five animals from which we obtain the fibers. Alpaca and llama will also be there. So you have to write only five names. Understood children? Now come to the question number three. And the question is, Name three plant fibers. Children, here you have to write only the name of three plant fibers. The fiber which we obtain from plants. So, cotton, flax, jute, etc. These are the names of plant fibers because they are obtained from plants. Got it? Now, the question number four is, What property of silk makes it so attractive? Children, the silk is so attractive and the cloths which are made from silk fiber, it's also so attractive. So what is the property behind it? So simply you can say that the shining appearance, okay, smoothness, softness are the qualities, are the, yes, properties of the silk fibers which make it so attractive because it have the natural shiny appearance. It is soft. And yes, smooth also. Alright. Now the question number five is, what is the basis to decide the quality of wool obtained from sheep? The wool which we obtain from the sheep. So what quality we are used to differentiate them? That good quality, poor quality, like that. So children, you can say that the properties of the wool are used like the length of wool, okay, their appearance, their texture, smoothness, softness. These are the qualities of the wool by which we decide the quality of that wool. Or you can say that these are the properties of the wool by which we decide the quality of wool. A good quality wool have long hairs, okay, soft hairs and smooth hairs. Got it? No. The question number six is, what are the two types of fibers obtained from the flesh of a sheep? And which one is used to make wool? So children, there are two types of fiber we obtain from the sheep. That one is long coarse beard hair which is long but rough and the second one is soft under hair which is short in size but it is soft. So this soft under hair is used to make the wool. Got it? So these are the short answer questions. I hope that you understood the answers of these questions. Alright, now come to the next Book exercise D, that is long answer question. Children, here you have to write the answer in about one paragraph. Got it? So, question number one is, we wear cloths suited to the weather. Explain the statement. Children, the cloths we use to wear is matched with our weather condition. Is it? That is why in summer season, we used to wear 
light colored cotton cloths because it absorb the sweat easily circulate the air and feel us more comfortable in winter season we generally used to wear the woolen cloths thick cloths leather cloths because yes because they protect the body heat from scab okay and keep our body warm they not allowed to scab the body heat understood and in rainy season mainly we wear the cotton cloths because it easily absorb the sweat and make us feel more comfortable and we also used to wear the gum boots rain coats umbrellas but it because we will dry if we use these things so will not get wet in heavy rain understood children now the question number 2 is differentiate between animal and plant fibers and give two examples of each so the differences between plant fiber and animal fibers are children very simple that plant fibers are obtained from plants and the animal fibers are obtained from certain animals get it second difference is there the basic substance by which the structure of the plant fibers are made up of is cellulose whereas the structural material by which animal fibers are made up of is protein okay and the example you can write as the plant fibers jute cotton flax etc and the animal fibers silk wool okay now the question number 3 is how does wool fiber help in keeping our body warm so the reason is that when the wool fiber we used to wear it have the large spaces okay in which air get filled air get trapped and it make a seal above our body and it not allow the body heat to escape and feel us warm keep our body warm now the question number 4 is draw a diagram to show the life cycle of a silk moth children the diagram that is already given in the book and i have given you in the notes of the life cycle of the silk moth okay the life cycle of silk moth it have four different stages the first stage is egg second stage larva third stage pupa and the fourth stage is adult silk moth get it so these four stages are present in life cycle of silk moth and only you have to draw the diagram in this answer now the question number 5 is mention the steps in silk production children here you have to write the steps only the name of steps used in silk production what it so what are the different steps used there the first step is incubation in incubation step what happens the eggs of silk worm kept in proper temperature by which the egg can grow properly and get hatched on time get it after that the second step is boiling because when the eggs get hatched larva comes out it get eat continuously the mulberry leaves and forms the cocoon after that the cocoons get collected and get boiled so the second step is yes boiling the third step is reeling or felature after the boiling the hard cocoon get softened and the silk fiber easily get rolled out and forms the thread get it children after the reeling dyeing is there it get colored in different colors got it and now the last step is yes spinning so the threads are made and now such threads are used to make the cloth so these are the different steps which are involved in yes sericulture industry you can say that all right now the question number 6 what adverse effect are observed on health of workers in the silk industry the workers who are working in silk industry what effect are observed children 
So remember that in previous revision class, I have explained certain health problems are found like the skin infections, scabies disease. They are generally found in the workers of silk industry as they are dipping their hands in water to take out the yes fiber of silk from the boiling cocoons. And the second problem, health problem is the respiratory problems because of inhaling the boiling cocoons enters in the body, in the lungs and the respiratory diseases can occur like asthma and the bronch bronchial diseases. Okay, so these are the health problems that are generally observed in workers of sericulture industry. All right, children. So, I hope that you understood these all questions. Okay, thank you and have a nice day, children.